Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Um, the vote is in and it turned out to be number three the for the wine rack. And it is going to be the purples. So this was number three, but some people, well not some people, some of my subscribers suggested adding some green to it because grapes have green leaves. So I'm taking their suggestion and I'm putting in some green. But Phil can show you the um, wine rack. And just to kind of uh, review, this is the wine rack that uh, she's going to do. It has, of course, a top and two shelves. Uh, there's the uh, top that she's going to do. And there's one of the shelves. And the other shelf is ready to go. So, so we're going to start. And the colors that I've chosen is boysenberry, and that's a pigment. The interference gold, which is a pigment. Green tea pigment. 24 karat gold, and that is paint. Dioxazine purple, that is paint. And then I'm also adding at the end gold sparkle. And that's a pigment and I'm using my black cell activator and if any of you want to know my recipe go to number 197 it'll explain exactly how I do all of this I'm gonna put my base coat on now which is color place from Walmart and it's the satin finish and we're gonna see because I think with the shelves I'm going to tip them, but with the tray, I don't believe I'm going to tip it. Oh, I got a big bubble there. I think a bubble, or whatever it is. Well, hopefully it's just a bubble and not a big clump. Yeah, but I can get that out. I know. It's bubbles. It's bubblicious. That should be, I better put a little bit more on. Better to be safe than sorry, people. It's only house paint. There is nothing in this. It's plain old house paint. Okay. Okay, I have to keep the order because I'm going to go in order on all three. This is my boysenberry gonna try not to drip but you know me I'm the master of drips <laughs> I'm Miss Dripalicious Ooh, that almost looks good enough to eat doesn't it that's a really nice doing color. my interference gold here's the green that everyone wanted. So this is the green tea. I think that was an excellent suggestion from a lot yeah, of it subscribers. Is. I, well, I usually listen to their suggestions because I do what they want. And I listen to your suggestions as well. I try not to drip. <laughs> you listen to my suggestions. Here's our uh, dioxazine purple. Uh, you don't take too many of them, which is fine because I don't know what I'm talking about anyways. But uh, Sometimes you yeah, do. That's, that's fine. And by the way, while she's doing this, um, you know, we have done other projects based on suggestions from subscribers. So if there's any type of pour or new type of technique or or colors or whatever you'd like Kathy to try, uh, please let us know because it's always fun to try something new and a lot of subscribers are, are very good artists and have very a good ideas. A lot of good suggestions. Yeah, a lot of good suggestions, very good ideas. Now we are always, Kathy's always looking to learn new things and try new things. I try to keep everybody happy. Okay. Here goes nothing, everybody.
Oh, it's pretty. Yeah, it's nice. And look at the, the green edging and so forth really does. Uh, it's very pretty. Add to it nicely. Yes. Thank you for the suggestions <laughs> on from everyone that said put some green in it. I try to do whatever you guys really like and and thank you to everybody for voting. I mean that that was great. Yeah, that, that was, was so much fun. And yeah, that was fun. And um you know just have fun when you see my con when I do something, have fun with it and roll with the punches and give me suggestions <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel because it's fun stuff like this that we absolutely love from our subscribers. Right. Even our non-subscribers, some of them, voted. I voted for number two and a half because I liked a little bit of number two and a little bit of number three. Oh, this is pretty. That's very nice. So you're going to do some tipping on that. I, do you want me to wreck it a little? Well, um, if you're going to wreck on the main tray, <sighs> I suppose you'd want to keep it. Oh, it's keep so it, pretty, but. It is pretty. I, I, we'll just do a few little things. Okay. Because wrecking is it's pretty cool. Now this is not something that uh, we discussed at all on this project, but another one of my uh, unsolicited suggestions. I really like the composition of this thing, and instead of stretching it, could you put white around the whole thing and leave it, leave the, leave the uh, flower, I guess they call it as it is, the I bloom? Could, I could, but it might crack. Because there's so oh, much paint. Oh, okay. All right. If you would have told me that before, I would have flooded the entire... I know. I know. I know. <gasps> See? Oh, well. <laughs> but I have to get some of no, this okay. paint that, off. That's fine. Now we can leave the blooms in the tray, if you want. Well, um, again... Uh, I'm going to leave that up to you. What do you think you want to do with that? Well, it... That would be something that then the shelves would, uh, they'd all have the same similar coloration, but the shelves would be tipped and the, the big tray would be more blooms. Correct. But you have to come up with these suggestions before the end, Phil. My brain doesn't work that fast. Well, then you're stuck with this. <laughs> no, I'm sure this is going to be very nice. It's just, it's just something that popped into my head. And a little late. A little late. And but that's okay. Better late than never. Well, not in, in this case, too late. Oh yeah. Okay. I just have to finger pop my edges because I got to have those all white. Is that to your liking? Yes. I think it turned out very nice. Let's take a closer look at it. Okay. okay, here is Number one. The first shelf. Okay. Those colors are really pretty. Here they are. Okay. Now if you want to have all three shelves different, you can make this shelf without tipping it. 
because, I mean, you don't I, have to have them all the I, same. I, personally, I think the two shelves should be similar. All right. And then you can do something different for the top tray. That's just my... That's what we'll do. You know, I'm OCD about things matching or being similar. <laughs> so... See, I'm, I'm, it's so funny because Phil and I are totally opposite. I'm the wild one and he's very conservative. He, um, when he worked, he, he always wore his white shirt and his tie, never a colored shirt. It had to be white where me, oh my gosh, the concoctions that I can put on. People, I bet people look at me like, oh my gosh, that woman is really something. Did she even look in the mirror herself? No, of course, you're the artist. You can do this whole project any old way you want. I know. If I didn't live in Arizona, I'll tell everybody right now, I would have that red back in my hair because in Illinois, I had red in my hair. I had three different shades of hair, and it was so pretty. But here, the sun just really beats it. So I'm stuck with only my highlights and my low lights. No red, but that's okay. I suppose if I'd wanna go to the beauty shop like every three weeks and get it, the red redone, I could do that, but oh, that's, I'm not gonna do that, I don't have time for that. I got to paint. That's right. I have to keep everybody occupied and give them their suggestions that they suggest to me. I love it when you guys give me suggestions. It's so fun because it's very challenging. Yeah, what, especially, you know, you get a suggestion and you say, oh, geez, I wish I would have done that with that. Uh, well, yeah, like adding green the first time. I mean, that, right. you know, I took the green out. Remember, I was going to do the green. Yeah, you were going to originally add have green in there, then you took it out. Yeah, I took it out. I think that was one of, another one of my stupid uh, suggestions, if I remember right. But don't. I'm not don't saying a word. <laughs> I'm not saying a word. I'm not going to blame you because. Well, it was my fault, but our, our subscribers had uh, more level heads and know what they're doing so yes they did okay people here we go number two i gotta get my breath <laughs> You get some paint over that white lobe. The white. There we go. Ah. Yep, nice green running through it with the purple for the grapes.
Oh, I'm whispering again. <laughs> yes. It should stretch out nicely. We'll see. If not, I'm going to scrape it to get more cells. I don't know. It might not look like the other one. Well, we're going to take much. a quick peek back at the first shelf. And that had cells around the center and so forth. Okay. Oh, these colors are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Again, it's pretty impossible to get. Can you see little... in the light uh, the pigments shining? Yes. Oh, yes. Very nice. Well, you, you can see the pigments better. Can you see it over in here person. in this angle? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. okay, here we go. Wow, look at that. Yeah, those pigments are really, when I get really super close with the camera, the pigments are showing up very nicely. Yeah, those pigments are beautiful. If I just hold it up, then you'll be able to see it again, but I don't want to tip it too much. Oh, no, just, um, just leave it. I got to tip it, otherwise you won't okay, see it. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to tip too much. Okay. I gotta make sure I have all my sides covered here. Seeing I can't see. Are they covered you're, yeah, over you're there? Yeah, you're good. You're good on this side, my side. Not too good over here though. Okay. Almost done. Popping. Yeah, in the sunlight, these are going to be absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, those pigments really show up well in the sun. And unfortunately, it's not bright enough in here. We need to invest in some yeah, lights, I, I think. Oh, I know. Then you can get the full effect. Okay. Maybe, well, that's, maybe that's my next <laughs> thing. Investing in some lights. Okay, we got the two shelves done and the grand finale is coming up. Now they resemble each other, but they're well, no, not exact. I, well, that's that's fine. That's uh, to me that's perfect. Well, that's what they're supposed to be. You can't have everything exact. Okay, everybody. You know well, what? Better, Time for some new gloves. Yeah, I think we better put some new gloves on. I don't want to touch stuff and. Okay. Now we're going to tip this paint first this time and cover the whole tray because we're not going to tip, try to tip much, correct? Right. Well, that's my thought. Okay. Is we'll see how the blooms are. Yes. Well, you can wreck them and stuff like that, and that, that'll be fine. These colors are absolutely stunning. It's going to be really pretty. Yeah, I can't wait till uh, it dries and you can resin it and we can uh, show the finished project. Okay. And like I said, all of our stuff is for sale. Um, I won't include shipping on this. If anybody wants it, I can get an estimate on shipping and let anybody know. But the way shipping is right now, it's like, oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. This is going to take quite a bit of paint. I wonder if I should just, well, I was going to take the cap off, but sometimes I can't get the cap off. Then Phil has to do his handy dandy cap thing remover, which that thing is a godsend. I love that thing. I'll have to go over there and show it after because well, I'll here, if while you, you're dumping that, I'll, I'll go over here and actually show show it. It's actually for, I guess, jars in the kitchen. 
It works so and good. You just put this thing on the cap, you know, grip it, and you have enough leverage then to get see, some of the caps off. Because I know with the glue and some of the paints, if you leave some, you know, on the, where the cap screws on, it's almost impossible with your hands to get the caps off. Now you can, of course, heat it under hot water, warmer water, but this uh, this little handy dandy cap remover works wonders. It does. It works so well. Because I'll go, Phil, Phil, <laughs> I need your help. Oh, you can't get the cap off again. No, I can't. Oh, you got to be careful you're getting it all on the sides, Scotty. Huh? You're getting it up the sides. What do you mean I'm getting it up? Well, yeah, I'm not. It's going it to go up the sides a little. It didn't on the, um, on your serving tray. Well, this is bigger. Well. Um, what am I going to do? I don't know. I guess I probably should have put tape on it. No, because when you put tape on it, you take the tape off, then it was kind of messed up. So. Well, thank God it's white. Some right. of it, it's white on here because actually I'll just do it all the way around. Yeah, that's working. That's working. There we go. It's pretty hard to tip this. Well, I know, but that's why it's delicate situation. It's whitewashed, so. Yeah, okay, it's fine, it's fine, you're good. Okay, I've just gotta add some more paint. Now that I have my fingers in it. I don't think I have enough for my bloom either. Okay, I'm gonna have to torch this a little. Well, that didn't help, did it? Well, why you Can you poke it with your stick? Mm-hmm. I was just trying to get my um, paint leveled up. Oh, I see where you're okay. Okay. You won't notice that in the bloom anyway, so. Okay, so now what I have to do is I'm gonna, we want three blooms in here, correct? I think that's what we're gonna consider okay. doing, yes. So I'm gonna do this. This. Is your hand falling asleep? No, I'm fine. Because you're watching your hand. I'm thinking, uh-oh, his hand's falling asleep. Okay. Here we go now, people. Here goes our blooms. This is such a tedious project. Oh! <gasps> You better, there you go. Ah, got my glove. You got okay. stuff on the side there. You're gonna have to get off the whole string there. Yeah, well that, that'll come off. Okay. This is the whitewash paint that you can actually wash off with a washcloth. Okay. Or a rag. That's what's nice. You get this all over your hands, you just go down and wash it with soap and water, which is so nice. I don't want that dripping off on that eye. I'm getting pretty good at my circles. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the first one was a lot bigger than the other one. Is that making well, a difference? Well, it went out. Okay. Oh, I got you. Okay, that's fine. I, I can make it bigger. So it just bloomed out more. This is a little baby one. Do they all look about the same now? Yeah, we're, you're good. 
Okay. I love these uh, pigments, the interference. They're really pretty on them. Yeah, they are. Now our green tea. Oh gosh, we haven't had green tea in ages. That is true. Oh, I love green tea from Panera. Well, we won't be getting that for a while. I think they have takeout. Yeah, but I don't really want to go out. No. I think we're better just walking around our neighborhood no. where nobody's around. You got to get those drips, Scotty. Phil, I know I have to get those drips. I know. I know, Phil. I'm the drip queen, remember? Uh, did anybody notice what Phil calls me? Kati? Kati. Kate, Kati. He Kathy. always calls me Kati. When he calls me Kathy, it's like, what'd you call me? And if he ever calls me Kathleen, it's like, oh, boy. But it's usually Kati. When I was dating him, his pet name for me, believe it or not, was Fern. <laughs> Where that came up, I, I can't, have no... I can't remember how I came up with that. Fern. Yeah, I called you Fern all the time. Oh, my God. And what's your pet name? What do I call you? Chuck. Right. How well, that came about is know. beyond me. But we are Fern and Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Tiff and Chris really even knew our, new, our real names. I think oh, they thought boy. they were Fern and Chuck. <laughs> Looking back, oh my gosh. Now I know there's going to be some comments and go, okay, Fern. <laughs> How's Chuck today? Fern and Chuck are good. But yeah, I'm thinking Fern. Where in the heck? I get it? Yes, I did. Okay. We're going to go with our black now. What is this? You dripped here one of those last colors there. Oh, that's fine, though. That, the that... Inter I think it was one of the interference colors. Oh, that'll be fine. Well, this ought to be something. I got a lot of blow in here, baby. I'm gonna start out with the middle, I think. You, should I start with the middle or the I, side? I don't know. I, I would say, well, maybe uh, start to do the middle and then okay. you can kind of adjust the sides to it. Or maybe you should have blown them all that. one way and then you could turn it and blow the Rest it away. I think I'm going to have to tip this a little. That's fine. I think once you get the other two blown out, Kathy, they'll reach. You might. So I wouldn't tip until you. Use my straw too. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Last, I gotta use 
is my straw to get this going though. Okay, what do you want, Phil? Yeah, a little bit that yeah way. I'm gonna go. Ooh. Now, what I think we should do is, I think we should put some dabs here and blow maybe some more. What do you think? Well, okay, let's take a quick peek here. At... Now, I can wreck it and, and make them all come together. But I think maybe I, okay, I, something here? I, no, I don't, in my opinion, no, because it could get too, if you, I would say if you do wreck them, they're going to come close to each other anyways. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Kind of like that where they, they sort of, you sort of go from one to the other with the wrecking. Yeah, I like that. Okay. That's cool. something yeah, down. Maybe a little bit of wreck just down here. Not. Yeah, I know. That's where I'm going. But I might take my bigger stick too and wreck it. Okay. It's really kind of dainty and stuff now. It's Pretty. Like it's it getting pretty. Yeah. I like this wrecking. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's really cool. I do I, like that wrecking. Yeah, it's very cool. 
Very, very cool. Just got to get some bubbles out. I wonder if we could take this over into the light by the window. Okay, wait, I got to keep rocking here right here. Oh, you here. do? Oh, okay. Yeah, I just want to go right in here. All right. Because I like this. Okay. Careful. I will. I just want to get some screws in there to. Yeah, but that brought a bunch of white. I like that white there. <laughs> I know you don't like the white there, but I like the All white right, there. No. Okay, that's. It's the middle okay. one. That's why I'm gonna. Right. I see. Okay. All right. I see what you're. The middle sister has to stand out. I see what you're doing. Out. Yeah, I see what you're doing here. Okay. Do you want me to bring it over to? Well, the... let's see if we can get uh, if we get a little nicer picture of the I mean the colors are just absolutely beautiful and I don't know how well they're showing up you got to come over here then can you see yeah, set it down on the couch once uh, there there's paint okay. on the bottom oh okay you're going kind of fast no I'm trying to get where we can see the the pigment You have a cramp in your leg? My foot. Oh, I hate that. It, this thing turned out really, really well. So Okay, everybody. Give me a thumbs well, up if you like peek. it. I'm going to take a quick peek okay, at the two shelves. There's the one shelf. That was rocked in, tipped, correct? There's the other shelf. There's the main... The main kahuna. The main tray. Tray. And of course, again, that's going to go all on this wine rack. So I think it turned out really, really nice. That's going to be very, very pretty. Watch out for your shirt dumping it in number two. <laughs> I don't need your shirt in there. But anyways, um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up, share it. Please subscribe to our channel. Any suggestions? I'm open for suggestions. And thank you for joining our family who is ever a subscriber. And if you're not a subscriber, join us because we have a lot of fun. So until the next video, bye.